This episode of Lone Rider TV is brought to you by Endo Gear, Kevlar reinforced interlining apparel for all your riding needs. What's up riders? Jerry Canada, Lone Rider TV. Today I want to talk to you about a cheap moto vlog setup. Maybe you just want to start your first channel on YouTube. Well I've got the cheap setup for you. Okay guys this is the built fusion dark helmet. I use a very simple setup such as the good old Hero 4. It's two types of frames. This is a standard frame. It just encompasses the Hero 4 camera and doesn't offer much protection. Okay, the second frame you might want to use is the dive case looking frame which offers maximum protection to the camera and offers a side door and a back window open so you can still use your exterior mic or hook up an exterior microphone. Either one of these frames would be perfectly acceptable for you to use on your Moto Vlog setup. This frame here will run you about 25 bucks roughly. I'll put the link down below and you can go ahead and hit that on Amazon and pick that up. This is much cheaper frame and probably run you about nine or ten dollars. I'll also put a link down below. This is the microphone I use. It is a four inch bendable computer mic. I can mold it right into the helmet. Has a 3.5 millimeter jack which plugs into an adapter that goes into your GoPro camera. This will run you about eight dollars and ninety five cents and I'll also put the link down below the next thing we're going to talk about is the microphone adapter. This is a 3.5 millimeter to USB adapter. This works only with Hero 4, which I believe cost $6. I'll put the link below. The GoPro motorcycle arm for attaching a GoPro to the front of your helmet or the side of your helmet, whichever you decide. This costs approximately $9 through Amazon. These are the two types of sticky mounts that they give you with that particular arm. And you have your rounded, your square, and then you've got a flat for flat surfaces on your helmet and you've got the rounded for the round surfaces on your helmet. If you notice, it's arced a little bit. You're gonna need to go to the Ace Hardware Store and you're gonna need to pick yourself up some Velcro. Get a four by four piece of Velcro, it's about $3.99. And go ahead and cut it into a two by four inch piece, so you should have two pieces. Then take the other piece, cut yourself a nice strap. Next thing is you're gonna have to get yourself some zip dies, the dollar store, any hardware store. Okay, you wanna locate a spot. I found this spot right here. It's got a slightly rounded surface and that's where I put my slightly rounded helmet connector with the 3M tape, two-sided tape. The way that works is you take your two-sided tape, you peel off the white side. All right, you get that off. 
you apply that to the connector of your choice. When you're ready to stick it to the helmet, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead, take the rounded one. I've got one already prepared here. You're gonna peel off the red tape. And at that point, you're going to put it right on to the helmet. So you wanna put the arm up here, like so. Get it kind of where you want it with the camera on it. Figure out where you're gonna put your 3M tape, two-sided tape. And once you figure that out, peel off the red tape and apply. The connector that they're using here works like that. It's the same connector I have on the arm. And that's how it works. Okay, so the first thing I do is I peel off the clear backing of my Velcro strip. Now this one I've already applied it in my helmet, so I'm just gonna try and give you a shot right there. If you see, I've got the first piece installed. It's covering my vents. Now that's part of my secret, guys, is the vents. You have to cover the vents. Almost every motor vlogger I know closes off this vent, still gets a lot of wind. And some of the more expensive helmets, they get a lot of ventilation through the front. You're gonna have to cover that up. That's the secret to my wind noise. I've got my vents covered up. I rely on my top vents to catch the air, filter through the helmet and come out the back. Okay, so if you notice inside there, I've got the two by two piece installed. Okay, next thing I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna install the arm on the helmet. Like so. Right about where my camera's gonna go. Okay, so now that we have this on here, all right, we've got that set in place. We take our spare piece of Velcro that we cut off the other strip and we place it right here. What that's gonna do is that's gonna serve to hold the adapter and the microphone in place. So we're gonna wanna take the adapter. We're gonna attach it to the mic. Like so. We're gonna bend it up into the helmet. We're gonna find about where it goes. Go ahead and take out this screw. And I just place it right in there for right now. And, and when I'm not using it with the camera off, that's how I store it so that it can't get ripped out. You're gonna connect it with a zip tie to the, to the arm to hold it in place. Okay, now that you can kinda see where it's at, just kinda lay this in place. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your microphone, you're gonna put it approximately inside the helmet where you want it right there works good for me just below the nose and by the way i don't have a chin curtain it doesn't seem to be a problem maybe because i have a beard so once this is in place okay leave the clear side on one side pull it off now what you're going to do is you're going to put that in place all right, now I get the mic in place and I want it to be right there. That's right below my nose in front of my lips. Can you all see that? All right, look at that. Molds right out of the helmet. You can bring it off to the side here. Now once you know where it's gonna go right here, you have it all in place. Take this piece of Velcro that I've cut I've got a little piece I've cut for my helmet that I like. Make sure it's on there real good. Now this stuff will stay on no matter how fast you're going in the wind. I get it nice and tight, just like so. See how that holds that in place? Now look, I know exactly where my wires need to be attached. That's where the zip tie comes in. One zip tie, guys, that's it. Okay, take this zip tie, bring it around, I want to make sure get this nice and snug you know what you're going to do is you're going to make this right where you want it you're going to pull the zip tie tight i know we all know how to put on zip ties 
Okay, get the zip tie about where you want it. Snug it up. That's gonna serve to make your microphone adapter stay in place. Okay, install the GoPro into the slot. Put in the adjustment screw. Okay, that's where this comes in. Now take the USB connector and right into place. Okay, once your USB connector microphone is in place, you can go ahead, snug this all up. You've got plenty of slack in this now. It's permanently connected. And there you go, guys. Moto Vlog Setup 101. Now that you know I got no windshield, got nice loud pipes, we can definitely get an audio check on this one guys. I'm going to go ahead and take you up here where I can get some speed. I'm going to let you guys see the speedometer while I do it. So you can see that I'm at different speeds. I'm going to do 45, then like 55, 60, then 70. And above. As you can see, one, two, three, the audio is still good, even at like 45 miles an hour. I kind of pride myself on the fact this is a cheap, easy moto vlog setup that even you beginners can get into very cheap and find out if you've got what it takes to be a moto vlogger. Or if you just want to, you know, take trips and be able to talk inside your helmet. All right. So let's go ahead and test out those pipes along with that audio. And as you can see, We've reached 55 miles an hour and the audio is still pretty good. One, two, three, you can hear me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and rev it up a little higher in this next intersection. Go ahead and do a audio check. This episode is sponsored by Endo Gear, Kevlar inner lining reinforced apparel. Sixty miles an hour. Sixty five. The audio is still pretty good, even at sixty five miles an hour. Most moto vloggers say they can't moto vlog over forty five. This is a cheap, easy setup to get you good audio so you can get out there and start making videos. Right here, we're gonna really test. Okay, one, two, three, you can hear me. And here we go, let's hit 70 miles an hour. And you can still hear me probably. So, you judge for yourself. Good audio, not good audio. It's not the greatest setup, but it is cheap and it will get you started. <laughs> if you like this, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe, doesn't cost you anything. And hit that bell for notifications. That way you'll know when we have a video uploaded. This is the Lone Rider. 
from Lone Rider TV, signing off.